Hi everyone, I'm Nomi. Hello everyone, this is me, Nadi. And we are doing this live session called Live at you and I with Nomi and Nadi. And we will be doing this podcast every week. We will have a different topic to discuss that would help international students to be more successful and enjoy their time at you and I. Well, this podcast is all about giving them an insight in which like, you know, they can see more about you and I, the activities we do here and what basically how cool we are. And now we will have a short introduction of ourselves. So I am Numan Ikram. I am studying Master of Business Administration. I am also working as a graduate assistant in the Office of Admissions. And I am originally from Islamabad, Pakistan. Well, my name is Nadir Khan. I'm also from Pakistan. And I did my undergraduate here in public health and now graduate school, like second year of my graduate school here in public health. And yeah. The topic of this week is the tips for international students when they arrive in USA. So what are the resources they can use and how they can overcome the problems they face? So first we will talk about the problems and then we will have a guest speaker uh, to share her experience as well. So so let me, let me just share the problems that I face and then Nadir can talk about his problems and his experiences. So when I first arrived in USA, it was a very... It was like a whole different world to me. I was like, I was completely in a different world. Like it was not something I was very used to of. The problem, the first problem that I faced when I came to UNI was of communication. I was really bad at that. At this time I'm talking with Nadir and there's also one more person. I will introduce her later on. But at that time I had no energy, no confidence to talk to anyone. But there was a class that I took called Strategies for Academic, class, academic Success. And that class really helped me a lot. It boosted my confidence. And the teacher, the professor of that class, Christy Marquesani, she had literally called me into her office and she was giving me time. And she was giving me like her personal time out of the class and really helped me out with that thing. So this was my problem and my story. So Nadir, do you want to share yours now? Yeah, sure, bro. I would say that definitely it's going to be, first of all, I just want to say this thing to all the prospective students who are watching on the other side of it, that this is going to be super important. Like, Definitely, we're sharing this story to you and we're going to share this every week with you all. So it, it can help you later on finding your dream school and where you want to be. Um, so definitely, we all have problems. You know, uh, when I came to the United States, it was a totally different country for me. So it was not something I was very much looking forward to it. And, you know, watching all those movies and seeing all those big skyscrapers and you feel like, oh, you're going to the same place. But actually, that's not true. Um, came here in 2015 and started my school in biology. So basically I was not sure what I'm doing. So that was the first problem I hit was that I don't know what I want to do. I want to be, go to medical school. I want to do like something else in health. So that's something was a big, huge problem for me. And then obviously I was kind of like a very shy, like in my own closet. So, you know, going out, meeting people, making new friends was one of my priorities too. Um, and I feel like I overcome all those by now. And that's why I'm like sitting right now and back talking to you all like eye to eye. <laughs> so that's like really, that was the funny part of me. And, you know, we, we, we both were like in kind of that same situation. And I'm very glad with our guest, the one which we will have like, like shortly. And I feel like that person helped us a lot, like in our grooming and basically telling us who we are right now on campus and in our careers. So, um, yeah, I think shared a little bit about myself. What about you? Nadir, you said you made a lot of friends that I don't think. So how many friends do you have? Just me. There is no... Well, I'm very popular, bro. Being popular not like you have made a lot of friends. That's just being uh, popular. That's it. You know, you have to brag. You need to tell other people that you can make friends too. So yeah, that's what we're telling. But no, we're actually very right, guys. We, we, we do have friends. Yeah, we have all of our friends like in the United States. So, you know, the best part about that is that you can go and crash on their couch. Yes, that's true. <laughs> you don't have to book hotels anymore. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I would like to introduce our special guest speaker, and her name is Christy Marquisani. She is the director of international admissions at University of Northern Iowa. And she's the one who also taught me that strategy class I was talking about earlier. And she's going to share her thoughts and experience about the tips she would recommend for the students who are coming to USA for the first time. So Christy, how are you? I am great. It's great to be on with you guys and knowing you guys for so many years, seeing you now in your like such adult state, it's kind of amazing. <laughs> Adultish, sorry, let me rephrase that. 
<laughs> yeah, you're, you're getting you. there. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. <laughs> How's everything going for you, Christy? It's good. Um, you know, with this semester, we have a bunch of new international students at UNI. They seem to be doing well. They're adding a lot of great energy to campus. So, you know, that's what it's all about. That's true. <clears throat> okay, so Christy, how, like, how do you know me and how do you know Nade? <laughs> I really want to know that. <laughs> yes, yes, that's a good question. So, as you mentioned, my role is working in international admissions. So my job is to reach out around the world to international students and tell them about you and I. And in fact, back when I could travel, um, I would travel around the world and I would go visit different countries and different high schools. And so for one of you, Nader, I actually yeah. met him at his high school and I can picture it. I can picture the scene. I don't, it was like six, seven years ago, but for some reason I still have it in my head. We were out. I was at my you and I table. We were out in some courtyard and yeah. you came out with some other people and we had a chance to talk. Mm -hmm. And, um, I think that was like our first interaction. And from there we kept chatting and, um, you know, we've, we've, I've obviously got to know you um, very well through the years and got to meet your family and everything like that. So that was my history with Nader and Noman. I didn't have as much of a connection before you came because you had connections here at UNI. So you didn't really c come through my office as much, but I also have a picture of meeting you because as you mentioned, you were so shy. So I was meeting you out in the lobby and you literally would not look at me. You were like looking at your feet and you were mumbling. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I did because I care about students and I want them to be successful. If I see there's something that I think is going to get in the way of the success, I do talk to them. So for both Nader and Noma, and they've spent some time in my office where I've said, hey, we need to talk about something. And in Noma's case, you know, like I just said to him, like if you don't use eye contact, people are going to wonder what's going on with you. They might not trust you or they might think it's weird. Like if you don't speak up for yourself, you're going to have trouble advocating. So, you know, like sometimes I just think students need a little nudge. And so I continually um, try to nudge a little um, for all of my students. And for you guys, you know, it's amazing to see how you've both grown and developed and overcome challenges. So that's the reward for me is seeing like you guys now um, and knowing that you're going to, you know, be so successful in the future. Thank you. Thank you. That. Thank you so much. Just yeah. how many countries have you visited? Ha. <laughs> <laughs> I have been to, I think we're up to 105 countries. Oh, wow. And all seven continents. So all I, seven continents. And wow. our Antarctica wasn't for work. That one was. Talking about that, Nomi, how many countries you visited? Yeah. Four. Four. Okay. four. Yeah. How about you, Nader? All of them because uh, it was like layovers through airports. No, so was I was going out. I don't I count those. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> you count layovers. Okay. Well, well, you guys are still young. I was in the country at that time, so it means I was visiting that country. Yeah. yeah. No, I've been really lucky. I've been able to see so many places and meet people and experience cultures. Like, I would recommend it to anybody that that's the way to evolve and learn. And, and even for you guys, I mean, just the fact you came to study in another country far away from your family. Wow. That's a huge step. So don't discount, even if you haven't been a lot of places, you changed your life and sacrificed a lot to be here. So that that's huge. That's so, true. Uh, yeah. Uh, so well, just talking about that, Christy, you know, uh, yes, we came all, you know, all the way far away, like miles away from our country. Yeah. Uh, and we do have our transition period and you know you and university helps us a lot what you think what resources we have available here on campus for students who are really looking to have a different transition from their own country to usa or the university environment yeah we really try to help students as we can um, first of all as you guys know we have an orientation program mm -hmm. that greets students right when you arrive so for a new international student you know, you'll come here and we will be there at the airport to greet you. We'll get you to your residence halls. And then we have a program where you're going to be able to learn about the resources on campus, 
You're going to talk to people that you need to know in order to be successful. You're going to make friends. You're going to learn about culture and immigration and just have a good time. And that week is really important week for you to kind of get acclimated and then to be able to start, start the semester. But it doesn't end there. So once you're in the semester, um, Nomi mentioned the strategies for academic success class. We offer that for students so that it's a course for international students to talk about what tools you need to be successful and to learn more and to become more familiar with US culture. Um, Cause some of the things that come up are things that, you know, you just need to have someone to ask about or talk about. So we talk about those things. Um, we also have English support. We have language um, tutors now available in our Office of International Engagement. And that's really the office we have on campus that's there for students. We have a great staff there, people there that are looking to help students and give them advice and give them guidance, but also do some fun activities. They just went on a trip this past weekend. Um, so I think that, you know, there are a lot of great resources and then it's really up to the student to take advantage of those, to get out of their room. Like don't hide in your room. Did you guys, when you came ever just hide in your room? Like, I don't want to go out. Oh, I, I did. Can't do this. Yeah. 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 You know, we can agree on that. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, even for an American student, I remember, and we won't say how many years ago, coming to college. And one of my first nights, I remember just crying in my room because I was like, and I went like seven blocks to campus. So, like, the, you know, so I think it happens to everyone, but you have to like force yourself out and experience stuff. Do you guys remember some of the first thing, new things you did once you got to campus that you're like, wow, this is a whole new world? Yeah, don't even ask that, Christine. <laughs> okay, well, the ones <laughs> that are shared. Everything was everything was new to me. Yeah. <laughs> Everything was new. I think everything was very new for me because that was kind of like the very first international travel for me. So right. you know, people are different, uh, and uh, I'm not. I'm, we're gonna say I was different too. So you know, you you learn gradually. So that's what my journey was. Do you remember what was most surprising for you when you got to the U.S. or to you and I? Yeah. Me, yeah. I have I have one story to share. I have one. Story okay. To share. Yeah. So when I first like go go to UNI, like for the very first time, so in Pakistan we would we would like park our cars anywhere we see a spot. So that's what I did. I parked out of the Gilchrist Hall in the police lane, just looking at like the spot was empty. I just parked there, and then it was like me and my aunt, and we both went in the building. Christy was like, "No, no, no! You need this parking. Parking there, there was there was like parking thing." need to put in your car you cannot just park your car over there so like i had to go back and then put that sticker on the car because the parking was not allowed and me coming from pakistan was like i can park here it's an empty spot right sure <laughs> definitely awesome. i have a story with um, confusing words that's what i name it because oh, so yeah. i i went and you know I, I just went to a coffee shop and i asked them like okay i need a biscuit with my real chai and they give me this fluffy thing with some sauce on it and I say I need biscuit and they say well that is biscuit <laughs> and that's actually you know was it like one of those big like biscuits and gravy type thing yeah well for us it's basically the cracker thing like a cookie that's like biscuit for yeah. us yeah a cookie yeah so well, that was kind of like things and then like those badges the buttons we have like for you and I yeah we call them badges and here they call them buttons Yes. So it was like, okay, I was working with one of the organization here on campus and they were making those, uh, you know, badges and I asked them, okay, I'm going to make those badges. And they said, uh, yeah, so how many buttons you made? And I said, what? So that was kind of a very new thing for me that, oh yeah, there are a couple of words here. Like you, you know, sure. uh, we say it differently and you said, even we spell differently. Yeah. Yeah. Every day you're probably learning new things when, you know, you yeah. get here and you see and you experience new stuff. It's pretty cool. That was fun. Yeah. So talking about that, like traditions, different countries we were talking before, homecoming is a really big thing in USA. So what, any recommendation for us and other students from your angle about homecoming? Yeah, just so if anyone doesn't know, homecoming's a traditional celebration, usually on college and high school campuses. 
And the idea of it is that it's a time where alumni, so people who have graduated can come back and visit the campus, but it's turned into this like week long celebration. And every night there's events, there's pep rallies, there's competitions. We have a tradition by our clock tower um, that I'll let these guys tell you about sometime. (laughs) There's a football game, there's parades, like there's all this cool stuff going on. And um, so it's one of the real best weeks out of the year. And so I, I mean, you guys know me, I'm all about experiencing stuff and participating. And I just want every student, every international student to get out there and like, take it all in. I mean, even if they're like, I don't really get football. Well, that's fine. You don't have to get football, go to the game, see the crowd and the cheerleaders and the band and, you know, cheer when everyone else is cheering. That's what I did at a cricket game. I didn't know what was going on, but I was like three hours later, I was like, okay, yeah. (laughs) Um, Or, you know, go to the parade or sign up for something, you know, like get out of your comfort zone and experience this stuff because you know, you're here in the U S and so this is your chance to take in the local culture. And this is like the best of local culture, right? Like I've been around the world and I love being places when there's a local festival or something activity, because I get to see the best of that country's traditions and excitement and the people connect with the people. So I, you know, that's what I would say is get out there and do as much as you can. Good, thanks. Good. Thanks for sharing all the information, Christy. Yeah. Do you guys have highlights from homecoming? Oh, there are many. Uh, <laughs> you, you go ahead, Nomi, first, and then I'm going to share. Some. I mean, we would participate in homecoming almost every week. Yeah, I remember we being a part yeah, of ISP I... and then decorating that golf cart and then participated in that parade as well. Yeah, that you guys were cart. in the parade, right? Yes, we were all exactly. dressed up and like, yeah, we were all yeah. dressed up like in our old culture clothing. And, you know, uh, it was fun, though. And I'm very excited for this one, too. Uh, it's going to be not that bad weather outside, but it's going to be perfect for that. Yeah, I remember and one time it was very cool, right? There was, there was one year when it got really cold and we were all like freezing, but still yeah. be in the, we were still in the parade. <laughs> and this year the parade is downtown Cedar Falls and oh. ISP, which is the International Student Promoters, has a trailer. So most student organizations have a golf cart, but we're going to be rolling through downtown Cedar Falls with flags from around the world. And we are just going to be so like awesome (laughs) and representing. So come out and see the ISP flag, or if you're following us from afar, watch social media, because we will be um, probably live streaming from the UNI homecoming parade. Okay, that's really cool. Excited about that. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, it's cool stuff. And fall is coming, right, Christy? Yeah, it is. Very soon. (laughs) As we I don't know, very soon. What's going to be happening in fall? Like any events we have or like what? So what holidays you're excited for? Yeah, so I mean, a lot of people are big homecoming and not homecoming, Halloween fans. Yeah. So Halloween is end of October. You are, okay. Um, In the past, our International Student Association has had a homecoming, sorry, I keep saying homecoming, Halloween, 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 <laughs> Halloween dance. We haven't had it for the last few years because of COVID. So we'll see if it gets um, resurrected this year. But of course, people love to dress up here in the U.S. People go what's called trick or treating, where they go door to door and they can get candy and um, just have some fun. So I, you know, that's a highlight for many people. I just love fall because I love and I'm going to get really like sentimental here, but I love the changing of the colors of the trees. So what happens is all the trees turn to red and yellow and green and brown, and um, they just look amazing. So my husband all and I, are brown. all the leaves are brown. Oh, okay. <laughs> all perfect, right. perfect yeah. time for so we'll go on drives and hikes and go out and see the leaves and wonder at that. So that's a favorite part of my fall. That's good. Okay. Yeah, I have like a bunch of pictures from fall. Well, I get excited about fall, but mostly for the holidays, uh, specifically um, Halloween, then Thanksgiving the whole week, eating yeah. a lot, then um, definitely Christmas and then New Year. So these are like where I always, you know, really yeah, like, you're, we're gearing up for a lot of big holidays, yeah. huh? I like apple, apple cider. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so there you go. You can find Nader drinking yeah. apple cider. <laughs> I think we should do something like yeah. I think we should do like kind of like one podcast in which we will dress up as Halloween and we will be doing something like that. I don't know. Ah, there you go. Yeah. During that week, yep, we can. Yeah, we can. People will, like, will stay tuned. Out. I yeah. think you don't even need to dress up. You are still already my main. Yeah, bro. I yeah. Think, uh, but still, Guys, I need to like, do some little see, bit of. They're still like little 17 year olds, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I still do. Yeah, I still like I have a, this black like Robin Hood hoodie, but it's in black color. So I just wear that and try to do a little bit of like, you know, artistic makeup <laughs> version on my face. But sometimes it's just not work. So but I will try this time. All again. right. Well, we'll look forward to seeing that. <laughs> Cool. Now, now it's a time to play a little fun game with Christy. So, what? Yeah. yeah. So it's <laughs> we will all give right. you five. We will give you five random questions, and you will have to answer them all in sixty seconds. Oh, okay. So all right. I'm gonna, all right. I'm gonna put the timer on, and Nadir oh, can do. Oh, you are you are doing that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You go ahead. Put the timer on, and then when you start, can you like uh, move your mobile to the camera? And then I'll start asking a question. All right. Yeah. And do I win a, like a big prize if I do this? Yes. 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 Very big prize. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I can only imagine. You show up for work next week. That's my prize. See, right? uh, <laughs> the one I think you should on your timer. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm ready. Let me start the time. Or... Okay. So now that you, routine. yes, yes. You ask the questions. Okay. Perfect. So three, okay. two, one, go. Would you rather study in Marka Union, Rod Library, or Radica Center? Um, at the library, I get too distracted at, at the um, union because too many people. Would you rather have a night walk on campus or stay in your room? Oh, definitely. I'm always out of my room, night walk. I always, when I was a student, like had a hard time staying in my room. I was always out and about. Awesome. This is a funny one. Would you rather have a dinner with Noman or a movie night with Nadir? Oh, gosh. Um... <laughs> Is Noman cooking or is he taking me out? Well, no, I'm taking you out. <laughs> okay, because that was a deal breaker. So I'm sorry, Nader. I have to go with dinner with Noman. Sorry. Peace but out. you can come too. No more relations anymore. Okay. Would you rather watch a UNI football game in the UNI Dome or basketball game in the McLeod Center? Uh, basketball. I have season tickets to the UNI basketball, so I'd rather watch a basketball game. Yeah, by the way, student gets for free those. Free, yes. Oh, go, go, go. Four, three, yeah. two. Would you rather be a student or an employee on campus? Time's up. Ah. Time's up. Time's ah. up. Okay. You, you ain't that. getting nothing. <laughs> I didn't get my prize. There is no oh. prize for you. You are Well, late. I do want to answer the last question, though, yeah. because as much as I love working here, being a student here is the best years of your life because I graduated from you and I, too. So like being a student here and being able to be part of everything and like take on the challenges, but also enjoy all the perks. I mean, you guys get in free to all the games, you get concert tickets, you get to go to the shows, you get free pizza at every turn. I mean, being a student, there's lots of perks, but then there's also just, it's a great time of your life. You get to make friends and play a lot and work hard at the same time. So I, I would say a student, um, and I tell all students, enjoy this experience because it's pretty awesome. So thank you. I, thank you. Yay, I was close. You yeah. were really close. <laughs> no prize for you. <laughs> oh, now you're going to have to ask me back so I can try again, right? <laughs> <laughs> We can try it some other time then. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm going to be practicing. So you just yes. wait. <laughs> I talk too much. It's my problem, right? Yeah. I think everyone's, that's like, yeah. we all are like that. Yes. That's why we're doing this show. <laughs> that's right. That, here we are. Look at us. So didn't we say awesome. this was going to be like five minutes? And <laughs> It started off with five minutes, but I think it's already been 15, 20 minutes. Yes. Time around that's around yes. that time. So thank you so much, Christy for taking your time out and sharing your thoughts and yeah thank this you has so been much awesome to, thank you and thank you so much to everyone who is watching this show at whatever time so now we will see you all next week with some different topic to discuss and we will have some more speaker guests as we go on everybody do you have anything to say yeah definitely definitely thank you so much christy again you know for you know uh, taking your time out and you're talking to us and give a, give us those insights. 
Um, and I think, yeah, let's see what we come up with next week. It's going to be fun again. We're going to be meeting some cool people again. And I know like we both are cool. So, you know, please <laughs> do, you know, watch this. It's, it's going to be fun. And um, it's going to, you no, know, it's going to have, you guys have a nice time. I will be watching. So I can't All wait. Right. We have one I will be watching too. One viewer. <laughs> <laughs> and then my my mom usually she watches <laughs> you'll have two at least so. So we have two at least so yeah Woo. <laughs> all right thank you so much yeah. thank you so much oh, to everyone take care all right bye bye, bye.